Yeah, you guys know I, I travel all the time, and uh, I, I I've been over the years. I've had so many band members and crew members and people like that who travel with me, and the crew members and the band members that I have right now are the best I've ever had. We have a wonderful, wonderful family relationship. And we have a wonderful time being together. It's a great assembly of people. I, I thank God for it all the time because in the music business, it's hard to find people who gel like that and nobody's into any heavy duty drugs or whatever, you know. It, it's, it's a great thing to have a family like this and have wonderful people you travel with and you're looking forward to seeing them when you're not on the road. You're looking forward to seeing them getting back to being on the road and working and hanging out together. So uh, I have a list of people and I'm gonna name them right now. I've, I've, I've read this off because there's a lot of people. And I'm starting with my tour manager, whose name is Robert Berto Perdomo. And um, he, he's a good dude and, and he takes good care of us and looks out for our needs and so on and so forth on the road. And I'm very happy to have him. <laughs> James Demetrius Pappas, my band conductor, my, my band leader. Demetrius has been with me for a long, long, long time. And um, I, I'm really happy to have somebody like him. He's a great person and we know each other so well. And um, I think that all the guys in the band respect him and they all get along so great. And I'm very happy to have him as our band leader. Hi, my name is Demetrius. I actually started the gig in 1992. I subbed for uh, all of the 90s, just about um, probably half dozen gigs a year. And in 2004, I joined the band uh, full time um, as a full time member. In 2008, like I said, I took over as musical director. I feel about my time with Smokey is is, is um, you know it, it, it's full of joy really because he's an amazing man first of all an amazing human being and, and really really nice to work for and um, treats you like family treats everybody in the band like family for real I'm not just saying that musically it's been really challenging because Smokey's music is um, more um, well I would say deeper than pop music is generally. And um, the, this beautiful um, string book uh, that I've learned um, over the years from our former conductor, Sonny Burke, um, has been a real pleasure to uh, embrace because it's been, it, it's, it's a, not a complicated book, but it's interesting and rhythmical and um, it's challenging for most people. So it's been really, really fun. And my horn players are Kenny Geoffrey and Brandon Wright and Andrew New. And um, uh, Brandon and, and, and Andrew are not uh, there all the time, but they come in and they sub when we need them. And it's always great to see either of them because they are wonderful, wonderful musicians and great people. And I'm very happy to be associated with all of them too. And then we have uh, my two singers. We have Lindsay Walker and Carrie Benoit Morales, who are beautiful girls, first of all. And I like that. I like the fact that when the guys come to the concert, they have some eye candy up on stage that they can look at and say, ooh, we, you know. <laughs> and uh, because they're beautiful and they're both great singers and great dancers. I mean, you know, they get down on the, on the dance steps and so on and so forth. And um, I, I love them both. They're just wonderful ladies. Then my drummer, who is Harold Tony Lewis. Tony and I have been together probably now at least about 
40 years seemingly. I, I, I don't even know how long we've been together. We've been together through a lot of bands, to a lot of people. And Tony and my, my guitarist, uh, Robert Boogie Bowles, the three of us have been together through a whole lot of people. They've been with me for a long, long, long time. They're my mainstay people. And they're always there, and um, they've always made every gig. The only gig that Tony has ever missed as a drummer uh, was he was sick. And I had to make him stay home <laughs> to not come to the gig. Same thing with Boogie. The only time he's ever missed, he was sick. I think he might have had pneumonia or something like that. And, and uh, he was talking about, well, I got to come to work. I said, no, 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 man. You, you stay home and, and, and get well. Hi, my name is Robert Boogie Bowles, and I play guitar for a man I call Mr. Unstoppable, the king of Motown, Smokey Robinson. Now, I've been playing guitar for Smokey Robinson for 40 years. Now, not only do I play guitar for one of the most talented individuals in the music business, but also I have the great blessing of working with some of the most talented musicians and crew. The three of us have been together for so long, and it's so wonderful to know that they're still here and they're great people, and, I, and I, I love them both so much. I love all my people. I've got great people with me. Like I said, this is a great family assembly for me. And uh, <clears throat> then on bass, I have Gary Foote. And Gary is just, a, first of all, he's a great bass player. I think it was about 15 years ago when the great Larry Ball introduced me to Smokey Robinson. Uh, and I've been touring with him ever since. He is the absolute greatest band leader I've ever been around. This man has always been cool on the bandstand, never any drama. We all know he's a ladies' man, but he's also a man's man. And uh, that's what makes touring with Smokey great. But he is a wonderful person. He's one of those kind of life of the party people who keeps you like up and <laughs> keeps you smiling and stuff all the time. He's always got some some gregarious to say or do. And um, so it, it's, it's beautiful just having him here. And I, I'm very, very fortunate. And then uh, my other keyboardist, other than uh, Demetrius, is uh, Saban Tommy Ringo or Tommy Saban Ringo. One of those, and who is also one of my media people. He and Kerry uh, Benoit run my media uh, 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 circus right now. It's, 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 they know all the social media stuff. They run my social media, and it's been better since they've been running it than it has in all the years before that time. And I'm I'm very happy to have them doing that, and I'm very proud. And Saban is such a great keyboard player, and um, I I just I'm, I'm very happy because he's a nice young man. And all my people are nice. See, that's the first thing. That's the first thing. Everybody's nice. And everybody gets along so well. <laughs> I'm going to talk about our crew, because we have a great crew. My production manager for my crew, people, is a guy named Brian French. And Brian has been with me forever. Yeah, I've been working with Smokey a long time. 27 years, as a matter of fact. 1996. I met my wife on the tour. Uh, she was a dancer for many years uh, with Smokey, and uh, we have a daughter who looks to Smokey as Uncle Smokey or Tio Smokey, uh, and it's been great, you know, to to be a part of his journey and uh, to become family, and to to watch him want to create and, and put new ideas out into the world. Um, he's incredible. And uh, you know, we've we've been through a lot of cruel people, man. But he's still here, and I think the first guy that he hired uh, is my in-house sound man, a guy named Casey Carrier, who I consider to be probably one of the best house mixers in the business. And this includes everybody who's out there with a sound man. I think he's one of the best in the business. And um, then we have uh, Keith Mitchell, who's my lighting director. And Keith is um, he's such a uh, such a godsend for me because he's a person who ha is creative with the lighting. He's creative, and then if I see something that I want changed or uh, that I want done differently, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's, I don't have to go over it five or six times with him. He knows exactly what I'm talking about, and he lights it up. He lights us up. And then on 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 sound we have uh, Craig Underwood and Jared Tudum, who 
are great sound men uh, behind the scenes. Uh, uh, they do the, the mixes on stage and, um, and keep us who are on stage able to hear each other and to blend together and to feel comfortable that we're hearing everything that we need to hear on stage. So these are my people who travel with me all the time. And they're all great people. I'm very blessed and very fortunate to know these people and really blessed to be able to work with them and, and, and enjoy, enjoy my work because they're with me. And when we have rehearsals, especially if we're going to do a rehearsal for something new that we're adding to the show or anything like that, we, there, there's a, a couple of places in Los Angeles where we go. Our main place that we rehearse is a place called Center Staging in Burbank. And uh, we go there and uh, we all get together and we rehearse whatever it is new that we need to know for the next concert. Now, the, 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 lately what we've been rehearsing is uh, my new single of my new album. I have a new album. It's coming out on the 28th of April and it's called Gasms. And everybody's been, you know, it's been a lot of controversy about that title, Gasms. You know, what am, what am I talking about, Gasms? Well, I think that every song on the album is a gasm. So, so, but anyway, the first single is a song called If We Don't Have Each Other. And uh, so we've been rehearsing that. That's our latest project. And so we're going to add it to the show when we play Las Vegas and see what people think. Yeah, and, and we do concerts all the time. And if you want to know our concert schedule, just go to SmokeyRobinson.com and you can find it and see where we're going to be because we've got a lot of dates coming up this year. And I hope you're at some of them. And uh, have a good time. Mm -hmm.